to a Jake in the Neverland Pirates. Captain! Captain Hook! Oh, Captain Hook! When Hook goes missing. But we're looking for Captain Hook. I'm not so sure that I want to find old Feather Hat. Helping them find their captain is the right thing to do. Look for Hook Week. Keep watching all week long at 5.30, 4.30 Central. And keep an eye out for Hook online at DisneyJr.com slash Jake. Sometimes the greatest adventure can start with one click. ABCMouse.com Early Learning Academy is a proud sponsor of Disney Junior. much. And here's the baseball. Now we're all set. It's gonna be an awesome day. We'll play some ball, scratch some fleas, chase a cat or two. Good morning, Stanley. I hope you didn't forget where we're going today. Of course not, Mom. Um... There. To the vet. Harry and Elsie are both getting checkups. Isn't that nice, Harry? You're going to the doctor. But, Mom... We were gonna play baseball. I'm sorry, sweetie. We have to leave in 15 minutes, so why don't you get Harry and Elsie ready? Okay, Mom. I will. No fair. We had the perfect day planned, and now... Uh, Stanley, I think something's wrong with Harry. What is it, Harry? Check up at the vet. Why, yes, Harry, a vet. That's short for veterinarian. Do you know what a veterinarian is? Is it a person who takes care of plants? A doctor for animals? Or a person who plays the cello? Right, a veterinarian is a doctor for animals. An animal doctor? Sorry, dudes, but I can't go. I, uh, just remembered something I have to do. Under here, so you go without me. He can't go without you, Harry. It's your checkup. Mm, so much for taking a cat nap around here. Oh, it's all the commotion. Harry's hiding under the bed. The old under the bed routine, eh? What is it this time? Mom's taking him to the vet for a checkup. No checkup! No checkup! Oh, Harry, don't be such a scaredy cat. It's just a checkup. It'll be over before you know it. Easy for you to say, Elsie. You ain't half the one going. Well, actually, Stanley's mom said you're both going. So you're having a checkup too, Elsie. M -m me? Huh? Checkup? Move over, Harry. <laughs> oh, calm down, you two. You both know that the vet is very nice. But what if there's fleas in the waiting room? Well, what if there's no litter box there? And what if the doctor has bad breath? What if we have to have... An extra! Now, 
whatever would make you think you'd need an X-ray. You don't get an X-ray unless there's a reason. My friend had to have one when he went to the vet. And his paw ended up in a cast. Your friend's paw ended up in a cast because he broke it, not because he had an X-ray. I don't care. I still don't want to have an X-ray. Me either. X-rays aren't scary. I'll bet you don't even know what an X-ray is. Sure we do. Well? Well, tell him, Harry. Well, um... It's like a ray, made out of X's. Right, Elsie? Yeah, um, like that. Okay, maybe we don't know. Do you know what an X-ray is? Have you ever had one? <laughs> An X-ray is a special kind of light that sees through your skin to the bones inside your body. It can be used to take a picture of what you look like inside. And it doesn't hurt or anything. I know because I had an X-ray once. You did? When? I fell off the slide at the playground, and Mom thought I broke my arm. Were you scared, Stanley? A little. Tell us what happened. We went to the hospital and I sat in a room. Then the doctor gave me a special apron and set up the x-ray machine. He said don't move and went to press the button. And that was it. I didn't feel a thing. Then I got to see what my bones looked like and none of them were broken. Well, that doesn't sound very horrible at all. It wasn't. And it was really cool to see what I looked like on the inside. Well, if I look as good on the inside as I do on the outside, I certainly wouldn't mind having an x-ray. Me either. It must be fun to see your bones. Well, I know a fish who can see its bones any time it wants. How come? Because it's an x-ray fish, and it's see-through. It looks just like an x-ray. I want to see one. Me too. Where can we find an x-ray fish, Dennis? Oh, dear. What should I do? If I tell them where to look, they'll sing that wretched song. You know, it's the great thing book of everything with everything. Is Dennis okay? What's he doing? Oh, I get it. He's telling us it's in the great big book of everything. Awesome, dude! It's the... It's just as wretched as I expected. To see an x-ray, that's our wish. Let's go find an x-ray fish! A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. X-ray fish. Wow! Check out that fish, dude! You can see all its bones. I've never seen a see-through fish before. This is, like, totally amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Harry and Elsie decided to take a closer look. Let's go, too, Dennis. Five, four, three, two, one. Into the book to have some fun. <laughs> Dennis. We are deep in the tropics of South America. And this is the Amazon River, the greatest river on Earth. It's 4,000 miles long and up to 300 feet deep. And it's also home to the extra special, extraordinary, extra see-through X-ray fish. how tiny they really are. They're the size of my pinky. Oh, man. How are we ever going to see these tiny little fishies close up? We'll use the stand scope. Hooray! Great idea. Wow. I can see the whole skeleton. I can see it breathing. What's that little thing beating like a drum? It's the fish's heart. Cool. Dennis, is that what you look like on the inside? Well, I am a fish, so yes. 
Except maybe a little more handsome. <laughs> but fish aren't the only creatures with exciting insides, you know. Cats, dogs and people have them too. But we're different than the x-ray fish. You can't see the bones inside us unless you take an x-ray. Right, but there are other ways to check up on your insides, you know. Really? Like what? Oh, taking your temperature, listening to your heart, looking in your throat. All the things your doctor does at a checkup. Exactly. Stanley, it's time to go to the vet. Are Harry and Elsie ready? Um, er... Uh... No problemo, dude. I can dig seeing the doc now. Me too. Let's do it. time here? Relax! A checkup is a piece of cake! Hello, all you griffs. Come on in. Your heart sounds perfect, Elsie. And if I remember correctly, there's a spot right here that you especially like to have scratched. Now let's see how Harry's doing. Oh, well, his appetite is doing fine. <laughs> and he's still the best kisser I know. Excuse me, Doctor? Are you going to take an x-ray of Harry or Elsie? No, neither of them need an x-ray. They're both doing fine. What? No x-ray? Oh. Glad we found out the truth about x-rays. Yeah, they're not scary at all. They're, like, awesome. Of course, if we were see-through like x-ray fish, we never need to have an x-ray. But since we're not, it's a great way for doctors to see if there's something wrong inside our bodies. Like if we have a broken bone. And need a cast to help fix it. I just know that no matter what, my x-rays would be incredibly beautiful. Mine, too! You're right. And here's what I think your x-rays would look like. Thanks, Stanley. I knew I'd look exceptional. And I look totally excellente! I'm glad you like them. Here's yours, Dennis. How lovely, Stanley. I see all my bones. And... Is that my heart? Yeah. I drew a big to show that it's full of love. So it is, Stanley. Just like yours. Good night, Dennis. Good night, Stanley. My extra special X-ray friend. Under the umbrella bird. There. That should just about do it. Ah, it's all yours, kiddo. Why don't you go up and see what you think? Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Thanks, Mom and Dad. You're the best. Wow, Lester, look! Boy, this is the best treehouse ever. Yeah, and look how close the sky is. You can practically touch it. Hey, let's pretend we're in the rainforest. I want to be an orangutan. I'm gonna pretend I'm a three-toed sloth. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Isn't this cool? I wish we could stay up here forever. Hey, why don't we? What do you mean? If we brought up enough stuff, I bet we could live up here. For real? You mean sleep here and everything? Yeah. We could eat all our meals up here and read books and stay up all night looking at the stars. Wouldn't that be cool? But wouldn't we need a lot of stuff? Sure, we need tons of food and sleeping bags. And pillows? And books and juice. And a flashlight. Yeah, so let's do it. Um, explain this to me one more time. We're all going to live where? Up in a tree. But it's okay. My mom and dad built us a house. You'll see. It's really comfortable. Hmm. Well, if you say so. Oops. I almost forgot. 
But aren't you ever gonna come down again? Oh, sure. For birthdays and stuff. But Stanley, we're going to miss you. So come live with us. I don't know, Stanley. Dogs aren't so good at climbing up trees. And cats aren't so good at climbing down. What's going on? You guys going on a camping trip or something? Did you see the really cool treehouse Mom and Dad built? Lester and I are going to live up there. <laughs> no way. You guys will be back down by dinner. No, we won't. We're really prepared. You'll forget stuff, and when you do, I'm not going to be the one to bring it up to you. Stanley, do you think we forgot anything? No, we've got everything. It'll be fun. <laughs> Oh, dear. Stanley, I believe I just felt a raindrop. A raindrop? You mean it's raining up here? Stanley, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, Lester. We're all set. See? Wow, cool. Now we are all set. We're gonna be nice and cozy. Dennis, how long do you think it's gonna rain? Ooh, a few hours or so. A, a few, few hours? hours? Boy, this is kind of awful. Well, look on the bright side. In case you ever wanted to know what it's like to live in the rainforest, now you do. Great. Thanks, Dennis. Hey, what a cool idea. All kinds of animals live in the rainforest, and they must know how to deal with the rain, right? Yeah, so? So maybe we can find one that can teach us how to stay dry. Let's think about what animals live in the rainforest. Tapirs, monkeys, parrots, umbrella birds. Umbrella birds? What's an umbrella bird? I don't know, but I bet I can draw it. Boy, with a name like that, I bet it's really good at staying dry. So all I have to do is look up Umbrella Bird in the... No, no, please. As if things aren't bad enough without having to hear that song again. It's that great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guide. Would you look at these two? A couple of real drips. When raindrops fall and thunders hurt, just look up Umbrella Bird. Look at us! We actually made it up here! Yes, but it's pouring rain. Yes, you might say it's raining on cats and dogs. Get it? It's raining on... on cats and dogs. Get it? Hello? Elsie, is this thing on? Hello? Anybody home? Say goodnight, Harry. Good night, Harry. Okay, let me see. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U. U is for umbrella bird. I don't get it. If that's an umbrella bird, where's its umbrella? I don't know, but I bet it's in there somewhere. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Into, Into the, the book to have some fun. Yay! Yeah. Cool. Are we in the rainforest? We are, indeed. But if we're in the rainforest, how come it isn't raining? Contrary to what people think, it doesn't rain in the rainforest all the time. Still, it's pretty wet for much of the year. Whoa! What was that? Believe it or not, that was the umbrella bird. It sounds huge. Yeah, and really close. It's not a mean bird, is it? Do you think it's around here somewhere? Its call is so loud, sometimes it's hard to tell where it's coming from. Try looking up, way at the top part of the rainforest, which is called the canopy. It's too far off to see. That means this is a job for the stanoscope. Whoa, cool. I think I see it. Really? Is it angry? What does it look like? Here, see for yourself. That one bird was making all that racket? It was indeed. But it doesn't look big enough to be so noisy. You're right. 
The umbrella bird is only 18 inches long. That's about as big as Elsie, not including her tail. But I don't see an umbrella. It kind of looks like the big blackbirds I see in our backyard sometimes. You mean crows? Yes, the umbrella bird does look a lot like a crow. They're roughly the same shape, and the males are the same color, dark blue or black. Female umbrella birds are usually brownish. So how can you tell the difference between an umbrella bird and a crow? Well, one easy way is that the umbrella bird has a loose piece of skin at its throat called a wattle. Hey, I know what a wattle is. It's that wobbly thing on a turkey's neck. Very good, Lester. In the umbrella bird, the wattle is an inch or two long, and it's covered with feathers, which makes it look like a fancy neck ornament. Billy, what does it do? Do you remember the loud sound the umbrella bird made? Well, that's because it can blow up its wattle when it wants to and make it bigger. That makes its voice much louder. Wow! Cool. But another unique thing about the umbrella bird is that it lives its entire life up in the air or in trees. It never touches the ground. That's just what I want to do. Live in the treehouse forever. But I don't get it. If it never comes down to the ground, what does it eat? Simple. It only eats things that it can find in the air or in a tree. Which of these foods do you think an umbrella bird can find in a tree? Pizza? Clams? Or fruit and nuts? Boy, that's a tough one. Well, it's not the clams. They're in the ocean. And it's definitely not the slice of pizza. I guess that means it's the nuts and fruit. Very good. You guessed it. Umbrella birds not only eat all kinds of fruit, but insects, seeds, and spiders as well. But Dennis, where's its umbrella? You've been looking at it this whole time. See? That bunch of feathers is called a crest. Doesn't it look a little like an umbrella? Wow! Well, yeah! Uh-oh! I think it started raining! Good thing we're under these trees, and good thing that umbrella bird has its umbrella. Hey, what's wrong? Yeah, why isn't he opening up his umbrella? He's getting all wet. Well, there's a good reason for that. He doesn't use his umbrella the way we do. He uses it to attract the attention of female umbrella birds. Usually, the male umbrella bird keeps its crest lying down on its head. But when it sees a female bird that it wants to attract, it opens it up. Wow, it looks like a peacock. But the peacock has his fancy feathers on his tail, and the umbrella bird has its feathers on its head. Very good, Stanley. That's exactly right. So it's called an umbrella bird because his crest looks like an umbrella, not because it keeps him dry. He has to get out of the rain like everybody else. And maybe we should, too. Yes, yeah, so let's go. Oh, there you are. I was worried you were still up in your treehouse. Nah, it's too wet up there. But I just had a great idea about what we can do inside. We can play rainforest. And I get to be the umbrella bird. Me too! Dennis, do you think it's gonna rain tomorrow? I doubt it. Well, I wish we could have played longer in my new treehouse. But I still had fun pretending we were umbrella birds. We learned that the umbrella bird lives up in the trees of the rainforest, and that its umbrella doesn't keep it dry, but is used to attract females. And I learned that even animals in the rainforest have to find a dry place when it's raining. Sounds like a good lesson. Aren't you glad you're in bed and not up a tree right now? I sure am. Good night, Dennis. Good night, Stanley. Sweet dreams. Guess how much I love you. Coming up on Disney Junior. Brave 
dragons don't go running for help every time they get a boo-boo. No, Stuffy. Even brave dragons need help sometimes. They do? Uh-huh. Everyone gets hurt sometimes. It's okay to tell. You don't have to hide. Person or dragon, tiny or tall. Sometimes we tumble and sometimes we fall. Everyone gets hurt sometimes. As brave as you are, I still get broken parts. It'll just make you stronger inside. Everyone gets hurt sometimes. There's a young boy named Christopher Robin who plays in a place called the Hundred Acre Wood. He has many friends, and together they've gone on some wondrous adventures. Now, on one particularly dark night, while Pooh was preparing for bed, he heard some very strange noises coming from within the Hundred Acre Wood, and one that seemed to be coming from right outside his very door. Is that you, Piglet? And being a brave little bear, he decided he would have a look for himself. Hello out there. <laughs> Hello, I'm Tigger. You scared me. <laughs> Everyone's scared of Tiggers. Uh, who are you? I'm Pooh. Oh, Pooh. <laughs> sure. Uh, what's a Pooh? You're sitting on one. I am? Oh, well, glad to meet you. Name's Tigger. But what is a Tigger? <laughs> the wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. Their tops are made out of rubber. Their bottoms are made out of springs. They're bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. I'm the only one. Then what's that over there? Huh? Oh, hey, hey, hey. <gasps> Looks like another Tigger to me. Oh, no, it's not. I'm the only Tigger. Watch me scare the stripes off of this imposter. <laughs> <gasps> is, is, is he gone? All except the tail. Uh, you can come out now, Tigger. Tigger? <laughs> Hello. Did I say I was hungry? No, not for honey, I hope. Oh, boy, that's what Tigger's like best. I was afraid of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yuck! Tiggers don't like honey. But you said... That icky sticky stuff is only fit for half a lump and woo of. What do half a... Uh, uh, lull of... Uh, what do they do? Oh, not much. Just steal honey. Steal honey? Yeah, sure do. Well, better be bouncing along. The wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tiggers are wonderful things. They're bouncy, trouncy, flouncy, pouncy, fun, 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 fun. But the most wonderful thing about Tiggers is I'm the only one. And that is the night that Pooh met his very good friend, Tigger. And they would have many more adventures together, which we will be sure to see. Disney Junior invites you to Paris, where you'll meet... Gaspar and Lisa. Hello, bonjour. They're yeah. best friends. You want to see what I drew? We were both thinking the same thing. We do everything together. <laughs> when something goes wrong, they call it a... Catastrophe! But when they work together to make things right again, it's a... Try -up. Come on, make a play date with Gaspar and Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. That's what best friends do. Gaspar and Lisa, weekday afternoons at 3, 2 central and weeknights at 8, 7 central on Disney Junior. It's time for Disney Junior Fun Facts. Brought to you by Disney's Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Peter Pan Returns, a full-length adventure new on Disney DVD with eight additional Jake adventures and a DVD premiere episode. Peter Pan is back. Did you miss me? We sure did. You bet. And he needs Jake and crew to help him find his shadow. <laughs> All the way. Yeah. Do it. Did you know that shadows can be used to tell time? How curious indeed. Long ago, before clocks were invented, people used sundials to tell time. As the sun moved across the sky during the day, the shadow on the sundial would show what time it was. You're right. Hopefully, Jake and his crew can help Peter find his shadow.